many folks who visit us in the summer are very surprised at the number of flies that they encounter along the shoreline of Great Salt Lake. These clouds of flies that we have here are called brine flies. They're just little tiny black flies that live most of their life in the briny water of Great Salt Lake. A female brine fly will drop a fertilized egg into the water of Great Salt Lake and those will hatch into larva uh, and those are kind of just a free swimming uh, wormy type critter and they in the lake will just eat and eat and eat. They're eating algae and other organic uh, matter that's in the lake. Tons of it. Uh, so they do a really good job of keeping our lake clean while they're building and growing. When they're nice and healthy and fat, they will surround themselves with a pupa casing. They'll attach themselves to something that's kind of bobbing around in the lake uh, and attach themselves to that and build kind of like a cocoon um, for a caterpillar, but for larva. Um, they'll build that around themselves uh, so that they can transition into that adult fly that we see here. Now, when the fly is ready to emerge as an adult fly, it will surround itself in a nice cozy bubble of air, uh, float up to the top of the surface of Great Salt Lake and emerge. And fly away and live its happy brine fly life uh, for a few days. Uh, brine flies do have a very, very small lifespan uh, as adults. But when they are alive and in that adult stage, they provide a very, very critical uh, food source for our migratory birds. Uh, Great Salt Lake sees about 250 different species of birds throughout the year. Millions of birds um, fly through here to kind of refuel as before they, they move along on their journey. Um, so between these brine flies that we have out here today and the brine shrimp that make their home in the lake, uh, our birds are really well fed.